What's going on YouTube? This is Power Tycoon bringing you a Wii U video. The thing is only a couple days from launching here in America. I'm going to get it. Day one is going to be freaking amazing. It's going to be beast. I'm going to camp out for that mess. So yeah, let's get into it. Now for those of you that are wondering why I'm wearing this hat, I got my haircut recently. It just feels weird. So putting the hat on sideways because, just because man, deal with it son. Alright, so anyways. Uh, I thought it'd be good to go over the recent stuff that was announced for Wii U, the good and the bad. Now in uh, my video, Nintendo is the best and the worst video game company, I know I kind of touched on the good and the bad at the time, but there's been a lot of stuff announced since then. Pretty much like this past week or two, uh, that's pretty much when we've been getting like all the information on the Wii U, like everything is starting to come out. So let's go ahead and start with the good stuff. Okay, the first thing is the Wii U is going to have a day one update. Now, the day one update is going to give you a lot of features, basically, for the Wii U. The update is going to add Miiverse, Wii U Chat, Nintendo TV, and eShop. And uh, I think there's something else I'm missing, but yeah, it's basically going to give you all those features day one. But you got to go through the update. Next thing, next good thing about the Wii U. Um, we have information here saying that some of the Xbox Live Arcade team have been working on building the Wii U eShop. Now this is definitely good, this is definitely great news that uh, these people have been helping out Nintendo with the eShop. So that definitely means it's going to be pretty good, pretty smooth. Um, I didn't really have any doubts because I was pretty satisfied with the 3DS eShop. I think that's pretty slick and has a good interface and Sky Games and shit on it. So yeah. Definitely some good stuff right there. And the last good thing, well, the last good thing I can find right now, I've just been scrolling through articles, um, but the last thing I have here for good stuff on the Wii U, it's kind of random, but it's definitely awesome. The Wii U allows you to post screenshots of the game that you are currently playing. That is pretty awesome. So, you know, basically just pause the game at any moment or whatever, take a screenshot. It can be some random stuff. It can be like a serious moment. You can just basically imagine, take a screenshot, put it up on like, I don't know, the Miiverse or something. Be like, hey, I'm stuck at this part of the game or what do I do here? Or just be like, oh, check this out and someone has like a retarded face on the screen. I don't know. It, it would just be really fun and useful at the same time. So now we're getting into the not so good stuff uh, that's been announced since I've made my last Wii U related video here. So um, it's quite a few things. One of them really isn't that bad. Basically, Nintendo kind of just reconfirmed that the Wii U gamepad is not going to have a backwards compatibility with the Wii games. So I mean, it's already been said. It's kind of a bummer, but is what it is. But he uh, Iwata did mention that the ability to play Wii U Virtual Console games using the Wii U gamepad uh, may come in a future update. So fingers crossed for that. All right. The next bad thing that's been announced. Now, this is really not going to bother much people, um, but it will bother some. Is that the Wii U has no system-wide achievements or trophies. Um, I think accomplishments is what it was on 3DS. Uh, none of that. Not system-wide. It's going to be game by game. It's going to be up to the developers to do so. To implement that, just like, you know, online play and voice chat. It's all up to the developers. So, uh, I don't know, I, I think we'll see a lot of um, developers make trophies and achievements for the Wii U just because, you know, it's, it's not that difficult since they're already doing it for 360 and PS3 and if they port over to Wii U then, you know, I don't see why not. But um, it's, it's still kind of silly that it's not system wide. Um, I made a video a long time ago talking about the possibilities that uh, Nintendo could have with doing system-wide achievements, how they could do it different, better, meaningful. Um, I'll go through, I'll restate those uh, I'll restate those comments later. But, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a bummer. It's not really going to affect anyone too much, though. All right, next up, you cannot use video chat while playing game. This really shouldn't bother anyone at all. I mean, who wants to do video chat while playing game anyways, right? Um, but, yeah, I... Th it's probably just too much stress on the system. I think that's why they're not doing it, and it's just pretty pointless, because if you're playing the game, you're fucking in the game, man. Why would you be... I don't know. It, it shouldn't be a big deal. It is kind of bad news, I guess. I mean, you still got voice chat. That's all you need when you're playing a game, anyways. 
All right, Wii U software cannot be saved to an SD card. And this is like a big slap in the face to someone like me, because I don't have any external hard drives. I'm going to go out and get one, but right now I do not have any. I have like a buttload of SD cards. I have SD cards out the wazoo up in here. But um, yeah, so I don't know why they, I don't know why it's like that. I don't know why you can't put it on SD cards. Uh, yeah, it's weird. Like I said, it's a big slap in the face for someone like me. And the final thing is, um, you know, something that's already been touched on by quite a few people, but I just need to get into it. It's basically the overall internal storage for the Wii U. If you get the 8 gigabyte Wii U, um, there's a bunch of stuff that takes up space already without you even touching it. You got the OS that takes up uh, some space and some other crap here. But basically, by default, due to formatting, blah blah blah, basic system will have 7.2 gigabytes of free memory and the deluxe will have 29 gigabytes. From there, the Wii U's operating system takes up 4.2 gigabytes of space. So if you have the standard Wii U, just the 8 gigabytes, you really only have about 3 gigabytes to play around with. And that's definitely no bueno. And then uh, the Deluxe will have X amount of gigabytes. You know, it's, you're, it's not going to be as much as you think. Like, you're thinking 8. You're not getting 8. You're thinking 32. You're not getting 32. So... Yeah, there's that. Uh, let's see. USB hard drives. Now, this is good news, actually. I should have left it. I uh, should have brought it up in the good news. But the uh, Wii U will support USB hard drives up to 2 terabyte hard drives. That's a lot of space. So that is definitely awesome. But you can only have one USB hard drive connected at a time. And they cannot be disconnected while the Wii U is powered on. So, I mean, I don't understand why anyone would have more than one USB hard drive connected at a time anyways. I don't see... So I don't really see that as an issue. Some people might. And uh, disconnecting as it's on, you can't do. And again, I don't understand why anyone would do that, but, you know, who knows, right? Anyways, so it's a lot more bad than good that was announced recently. But, I mean, I'm still hyped. I'm still getting this day one. It's going to be awesome. I love the thing. I've played with it a few times, and it's amazing. So expect me to do an unboxing as soon as possible. I don't know if anyone around here is doing midnight launches, but if they are, I will be there. I will be there. I'm going to get that mess as soon as possible. It's going to be awesome. Wii U. Boom.